Hello beautiful people, today I will tell you what's wrong with the modeling industry in Korea. Those who work there for a really long time of course know this and I mostly talk about the foreigners working as models, actors and entertainers in Korea. But not many people are speaking out loud about it for different reasons. Some are afraid to lose their visas, some are afraid to lose their jobs, the others just keep silent because they want to have an impression, to create an impression of this perfect life on social media to have a perfect image of themselves and don't get me wrong i don't judge them we all have the different reasons to stay silent and we all have to survive somehow to eat to work and to live basically because we are human and by this video i just want to share that not everything is perfect and i want you to be careful and i want you to think twice before choosing this path And I want you to realize what is what in this industry and what to expect and then make a decision. Before we begin, if you're new here, my name is Tatiana, I'm a fashion photographer, model coach and stylist. And I mostly do videos about modeling and lifestyle, so please subscribe, I'm sure you will enjoy my videos and will have fun watching them. do private one-on-one -on -one model coaching sessions so if you need an advice regarding your career please don't be shy and reach out to me as well let me clear it out first if you fit into modeling industry standards have a good representative agency and you look fits Korean market then of course you won't have any problems with work here Usually such models come to Korea for two or three months to earn money and then leave to another country and continue working there. This way local clients don't get tired of their looks, don't get bored of the same faces. And same models can come back to Korea later if needed, if it would be good for their career. This is a normal modeling job and basically this is how it should be. And I call it general modeling. And along with the general modeling, there is a local modeling market in Korea. And this is what we're going to talk about, the local modeling market. It is totally different from the general modeling and it has many, many problems, sadly. If you would like to know the basics about modeling in Korea, I have another video where I explain everything in detail. So please watch it first to understand all of the terms and understand what I'm talking about. The link will be in the description box and everything I will be mentioning you will also find in the description box down below. So let's start from the beginning to realize what has led to the situation that we have now. Many people are dreaming about modeling or acting career in Korea, especially with the popularity of K-pop industry, of K-dramas and everything. They are dreaming about moving in Korea and live there. And many of them are ready to do anything to get there. Getting an E6 visa, which is modeling and entertainment visa in Korea, is pretty much easy actually. And I think around the 2020, with the beginning of pandemic, this market has become oversaturated. This is the first and the main problem which has led to 
other problems. So what does it mean? Basically too many people, too many foreign models and actors, entertainers in Korea and not many jobs for them, especially during the economical crisis caused by the pandemic. And with this economical crisis worldwide, of course Korean small businesses and companies, Korean brands were struggling as well. Some of them couldn't afford hiring the models anymore, some of them were shutting down and we could see the situation where there are not many jobs available for foreign models. So here is the other problem. Many foreigners and many foreign models, entertainers and not that many jobs available for them. By the way, we still have that situation with the oversaturated market and not many jobs available. So what happens next? Those companies, of course they want to survive and they couldn't afford hiring the models and paying them normally. So they have started lowering the pricing for modeling jobs. They have started lowering models wages and sometimes they have even asked models working for free, which is ridiculous, of course. So I'm going to tell you that the prices for modeling and acting jobs are the same as 5 or even 10 years ago, and sometimes they are even lower. So can you imagine? Do you see our third problem? It is low payment. And it can be ridiculously low, like from 20,000 to 50,000 won per hour for a shoot. So here we have the situation. Not so many modeling jobs, oversaturated market and low payment. Yet people still want to come to Korea to work here, dream about living in Korea. They hope for the best and they are new to the industry. They don't understand everything yet. So they accept those jobs with a ridiculously low payment, they accept working for free just because they want to be the star in the K-drama. So what's happening? The clients, Korean clients, Korean companies see that foreign models accept jobs with such a poor conditions with a low payment and everything seems working pretty well. So why do they need to offer the normal payment? to foreign models when they can pay just this little or not paying them at all. Paying less seems easy because people do agree working on these conditions. And I see the huge problem. Prices are getting even lower and lower as a result. And it's really really hard to earn normal money in Korea as a foreign model, as a foreign entertainer. Of course, the situations are different, the cases are different, and I'm not saying it is impossible, and I'm not saying you're not gonna make it. Of course, it depends on your look, on your experience, on everything. But what I see right now, the majority of the cases are like this, and people are struggling with earning money, and the conditions, the work conditions are really poor at the moment. So knowing all this, would you still want to try going to Korea and become a model here? I'm really curious to know your thoughts please share them in the comments down below and if you already work here please also share your own story i'm sure everybody will be interested to hear it out and it will be interesting to see some statistics i am talking based on my experience and based on experience of the people I know and my research as well. I hope this video was interesting and helpful. 
please don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe it will really help me a lot and i will see you next time